Let's talk about the most overhyped kit that beginner photographers keep buying. But before we get to that, I want to tell you the kit you should be buying, the kit you should be investing in. So number one, you're going to want a good computer. And this might seem like the most ridiculous thing to start with, but with the size of digital files today, you need something good. Now, I'm not going to get into the whole PC and Mac debacle because I don't care. But if you buy a 13-inch M1 MacBook Pro with 16 gig of RAM, that will do you nicely. You don't need anything more than that. That is fine. If you have very specific needs, like you're trying to export 10,000 raw photos at once in five minutes, sure, go for something better. But like for me, for example, I use those laptops and I'm a professional. We do phase one images on them with 150 megapixel backs. We also edit these 6K raw video files. And yes, render time's not so fast. They're not that snappy, but I film all these now. I go and edit them and I render overnight and they're always done by morning. So have a think about that. But that, that is one thing you absolutely should invest money into. The second one is your portfolio, not the printed portfolio. Go and get a secondhand iPad from CEX or Cash Generator or whatever those shops are where you are and just put them on there. But into your test shoots, you must invest in test shoots. It is so important. I just spent £1,500 this week on test shoots um, just to make sure we've got it all tickety-boo because the work I produce personally, my personal work is what gets me paid for my commercial work. If I don't do good personal work, I don't get the big high-end commercial jobs. And a lot of us as beginners, we think, I need commercial work to get commercial jobs. And that, that just isn't the case. It should be, but it's not. The way it's seen is you create something which is purely you. You create something which is authentic to you in your style, which is different to everybody else. And they'll book you to do exactly what they tell you to. Don't ask me why. Don't ask me why. That is just the way it is. I know it's not sensible. I don't know. It annoys me, but it is how it is. And it does mean that I get to spend a lot of time creating cool, interesting shots. And if you're into that, I have a Patreon account where I document my creative work and we show you the shoots, the lighting setups and all that good stuff. I'll pop a link below for that. Now, another great thing to invest in is glass. Everyone will tell you good lenses, they hold their value. They do. Now, what I would caveat that with is buy them secondhand, not brand new. Because if you buy a secondhand lens, it really will hold its value. If you buy, especially if it's a manual focus lens, I bought a Carl Zeiss Macro Planar Milvus something rather fancy and it's worth slightly more now than when I bought it. Um, if you buy it brand new, you will lose some money, but it's not that bad. But secondhand lenses are great. There's companies in the UK like MPB. I think you have them elsewhere. Not sponsored at all by them, but MPB. Holler at me. I do like your system. I, I buy all my kit used. Um, and you get a great guarantee. Like if it's not white, right, you send it back and they send you another one. It is great. You know, it's brilliant. So yeah, secondhand lenses, good quality lenses by the best lenses you can afford. So here we go, we've got cameras, we've got portfolios, we've got lenses, and then lights. Lights are something you should invest good money into. Not as much today as it once was. When I started out, you wouldn't even consider buying Godox kit because it would just burst into flames and destroy your studio. But nowadays, a good bit of Godox kit does the job. It's okay, you don't need to buy Profoto, Elinchrom, or Broncolor anymore. They're great lighting kits, and they are better but not that much better. So buy some good quality lights and don't buy one of each, buy several of the same. Um, find out what your needs are, if it's location or not, and then just buy several of the same thing. Now, the thing you're wasting your money on, and it pains me, and I don't really know how to get this point through to people because they just don't listen, is camera bodies. Camera bodies are a waste of money. Let me give you a good point and reference. This is my 5D Mark II. Today, this is worth 200 pounds, probably less actually, because I've, I've given it a hard life. It's worth about 200 pounds. Brand new, it was about three and a half thousand. That is some extreme devaluation and depreciation. Now, some smart aleck in the comments go, yeah, but you can offset it against tax. Yeah, you can. But, and this is a big but, would you not rather have the money? Would you not rather have the money? This camera, still good enough today to shoot a worldwide ad campaign in most scenarios. The, the, you know, there's someone who's going to go, yeah, but I shoot skydivers for adverts. Yes, probably not the tool for the job. But for anyone who does like me in a studio, this is sufficient. Absolutely. I shoot on a 5DSR, which is more than sufficient. And on big jobs, we shoot in a phase one, which is absolute overkill, especially when we're putting it on a 1080p digital billboard. But the reason it's a waste of money is this. 
Since the 5D Mark II, image quality has improved nada. We've got more resolution, for sure. They claim to have more dynamic range, but like, I don't remember struggling with dynamic range, uh, ever. Even back in the 5D Mark I days, I always found it fine. Um, and there's just no improvement in cameras. So the good thing to do is to go and buy two identical cameras at the same time. So if you've got a thousand pounds, go and buy two 5D Mark III's. Don't go and buy one 1,000 pound camera. It's a stupid purchase. Whatever it is you're going for, your camera budget that you've got allocated is not for one camera, it's for two, if you're thinking of doing this seriously because you need to have an identical backup. I have multiple 5DSRs and when I used to shoot on these, I had four 5D Mark IIs. We used to batter them a lot. This is the only remaining from the time. And this is camera number one as well. I'll try and find the shutter count on it at some point. I'll pop it in the comments if I manage to do so. But don't waste your money on cameras. Whatever the latest and greatest mirrorless that's come out, it does nothing new. And I know this is me shooting myself in the foot to ever get an endorsement from Canon, but since the 5D Mark II, the 5DSR, or whatever its mirrorless counterpart of high resolution is, is the only camera that's been different because it has more megapixels. And some of you are gonna go, yes, but the 5D Mark II autofocus is dog. I used to shoot documentary photography in the 5D Mark II. I never miss focus. If you can't focus a camera, then, then, you know, work on your skills. I've never had a problem with it. F1.2, fast moving subjects, I still get focus. So don't buy into the hype of all these cameras. Don't waste your money on these cameras. Buy something you can afford two off easily and get some really good lenses. The 135 millimeter F2 on a 5D Mark II will look far better than some cheap lens on the latest and greatest mirrorless camera. It just will. There's no way to like compare it in any other way. It's just Good lenses, good lights, trump good cameras by a significant amount. And also your bank balance will be happy for you because when you sell it for £200 10 years later on, it's just a bit depressing. So that's why I hang on to my cameras because by the time I'm done with them, they've devalued so much that they're just not worth hanging on to. Now, what I'd like to know from you guys is, would you have the guts would you have the guts to shoot on a 5D Mark II on a commercial job? And would you like to see me shoot on a 5D Mark II on a commercial job? Would you like to see me turn up to work and shoot a job with this? Obviously, I'm not going to shoot the next McDonald's campaign on a 5D Mark II because we'll be on a phase. But any job that I do, which is for less than five grand for the day, I will shoot on this and I will show you if you'd like to see that. Let me know in the comments below. I hope we get to make that cool video. I'll see you all soon. Bye bye.